What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Lord Jesus. Our Father and our Maker, our Redeemer, our Life and our Salvation. We worship you, we exalt you, we bless you, we, we adore you because of what you have been doing for us, for your goodness, for your kindness, for your mercy, for your faithfulness, O oh God, for the covenant of life. Lord, for giving us the grace, O oh God, to see the light of another beautiful day. Father, it is not by making, it's not by power, it's not by might. Lord, it's by your grace, O oh God. Lord, for your grace, O oh God, this morning we return all glory back to you. I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, we are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Lord, for your divine protection, divine protection. Oh God, divine grace over our lives, oh God. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Our Father and our Lord, this is another glorious time in your presence, oh God. The Bible says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has a clean hands and a pure heart. Father, we pray this morning, oh God. Lord, let our heart, oh God, be washed clean by your blood in the name of Jesus. Let our body, soul, and spirit, oh God, receive divine cleansing by the authority and power in your blood. In the name of Jesus, we pray, you, oh God, that let every over our prayers this morning, we go open by fire in the name of Jesus. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we begin to destroy every plans of the wicked, every authority. So enemies have sown to our lives in the dream of God. We destroy them now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, surely they will gather, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather shall fall for us. Father, we pray to your God that wherever the enemies are right now, whatever things that they have done, Father, let them fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. Let sickness let evil prophecies fall for our sake. Let the evil hands raised up to destroy us. Let them fall for our sake. In the name of Jesus, as we have entered into your presence, O God, today with thanksgiving and into your court with praise. Daddy, we pray that throughout our days on earth, O God, songs of joy and things of testimonies will not cease in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I surrender myself before you, God. Father, Lord, anything in me, Lord, that will open the door of my life out for the enemies to enter. Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Break me down, O Lord. Break me down, O Lord. Break me down, O Lord. Remove me to suit your purpose. In the name of Jesus. Father, I don't want to speak of myself. But let me speak his word through me. In the name of Jesus, as, as your word will be going forth this morning, let your word, oh God, bring forth divine liberation. Let it bring forth testimonies. Let it bring forth healing. Let it bring forth revival. Let it bring forth above all. Let it bring forth, oh God, a new way and a new life for us in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and received. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Beloved, I welcome you specially into this special service in the house and in the presence of the Most High God on our day seven of our special teaching and today the lord god almighty will open our understanding into this teaching in the name of jesus and any plan of the wicked to make you to hear the word but not to be careful with the word i command their plans right now to be wasted by fire in the name of jesus before we continue i want you to open your mouth and pray say agenda of the wicked over my life agenda of the wicked over my family agenda of the wicked over my home be dashed to pieces in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray agenda of the wicked plans of the wicked expectations of the wicked over my life over my family over my home over my ministry be dashed to pieces be dashed to pieces be dashed to pieces open your mouth and pray agenda of the wicked plans of the wicked expectation of the wicked over my life over my family be dashed to pieces be dashed to pieces be dashed to pieces in jesus name we have prayed you will pray the second prayer like this say any power anywhere that wants me to suffer in the land of the living any power anywhere that wants me to suffer in the land of the living you are not my god therefore die in the name of jesus any power anywhere any spirit anywhere that wants me lord to suffer in the land of the living that wants me to suffer physically that wants me to suffer spiritually that wants me to suffer mentally that wants me to suffer emotionally you are not my god in the name of jesus i command you to die i command you to die i command command those powers to die any power anywhere that wants you to suffer 
that wants to live your days in suffering. They are not your God. Command them to die. They must die. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Lastly, you pray like this. Say, as long as the Lord God of heaven lives before my stand this morning, my name shall not be dragged in the mud. As long as the Lord God of heaven lives, before my stand this morning, my name, my glory, my destiny shall not be dragged in the mud. In the name of Jesus. That means you, your family, your destiny shall not be ashamed. Father, as long as the Lord God of heaven lives, oh God, before my prayer this morning, Father, do not let me be ashamed, oh God. Do not let my name be dragged in the mud. Do not let my glory be dragged in the mud. Do not let my destiny be dragged in the mud. In the name of Jesus, as long as the Lord God of heaven lives, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Elijah, the God of answered by fire. My name, my glory, my destiny shall not be dragged in the mud. In the name of Jesus, any power anywhere, any spirit anywhere that had vowed to drag my name in the mud, that had vowed to bring shame upon me. Holy Spirit of God, disappoint them, O God. Disgrace them, O God. In the name of Jesus, disappoint them, O God. Disgrace them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, disappoint them, disgrace them, disappoint them, disgrace them. In Jesus' mighty name, they are disgraced. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus name. Wonderful God, we thank you once again and we commit this platform to your hands, oh God. Father, it is your making, it is not the making of man. Lord, overshadow this platform, oh Lord, with your glory in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of the wicked, any prayers that the enemies are praying against this platform, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. The purpose and the mission of this platform is to populate the kingdom of God and to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. Any power that wants to change the purpose of God for this platform, such power shall be baptized with open shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, turn this platform, O oh God, to a platform of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I welcome you to day seven of our teaching. And today, we are looking at what is titled, Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou, you and I, shall not commit adultery. That is the seventh commandment according to the Bible. Exodus chapter 20, verse 14. Exodus 20, 14, the Bible says, Thou shall not commit adultery. Whether you like it or not, God's commandments, they stand it sure forever. Heaven and earth can roll away. Anything can roll away. But the word of God will never go back to God empty until the purpose of which the Lord has sent it for to accomplish is been accomplished. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Thou, you and I, shall not commit adultery. This commandment encompasses so many things. This commandment is telling us about sexual sin in general. This commandment is being handed down to us by God to guide us against every form of sexual immorality. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 to 20. The Bible says, flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without his body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. So whosoever committed or whosoever committed what is called adultery, fornication, or every form of sexual immorality sinned against his own body. What? What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Your body is not your own. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you. Ye, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit which has God. It is a commandment that you and I should glorify God in our body because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is not the temple of sin. Your body is not the temple for you to commit fornication and adultery. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which liveth in you. Praise the Lord. Also in Matthew chapter 5, Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 to 28, the Bible says, Ye have heard that it was said by then of old, 
Thou shalt not commit adultery. Matthew chapter 5, verses 27 to 28. Ye shall not commit adultery. But I say unto you, hear what the Bible says. I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. That means there is another level of adultery, which is adultery of the heart. That one you have not yet entered into the act physically, but spiritually within your heart, you are committing the offense. I want you to pray to God. Say, Lord, purge my heart from the adultery of the heart. Lord, purge my heart, oh God, from every form of adultery of the heart. In the name of Jesus, there is adultery of the body. There is adultery of the heart. Say, Lord, purge my heart of the adultery of the heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, purge my heart, oh God, of the adultery of the heart. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let us see the various forms or the various kinds of sexual sins that the Lord God says, we, you and I should not engage in. You and I, God is telling us that we should flee from every form of these sexual sins. As sin is levit as sin in Leviticus chapter 20, verses 10 through to 21. Let us do a bit of Bible reading and a bit of Bible study so that we we'll have understanding when we see people that are committing certain things, you know that they are transgressing against the laws of God. In Leviticus chapter 20, I'll read quickly from verse 10 through to 21. And I'll be reading from the NIV version so that we will have a clearer understanding of the various forms of sexual sins that the Lord God said you and I should not commit. And I'll read from verse 10. Leviticus chapter 20 from verse 10. If a man commit adultery with another man's wife, with the wife of his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress must be put to death. Verse 11. If a man sleep with his father's wife, he has dishonored his father. Both the man and the woman must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man sleep with his daughter-in-law, both of them must be put to death. <clears throat> Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man sleep with his daughter-in-law, both of them must be put to death. What they have done is a perversion. Their blood will be on their own heads. If a man lies with a man as one lies with a woman, a man and a man lying together, a woman and a woman lying together, it is against God. Hear what the Bible says. If a man lies with a man, as one lies with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. Verse 14. If a man marries both a woman and a mother, it is wicked. Both he and they must be born in the fire so that no wickedness will be among you. If a man Underline it. If a man marries both a woman and a mother, and this has been the order of the day right now, you will see a man marrying the mother and at the same time defiling the daughters. Bible says both the man and those people must be born in the fire so that wickedness will not be among you. Verse 15. If a man has sexual relationship with with an animal, he must be put to death, and you must kill the animal. If a man has sexual relationship with an animal, some people are now sleeping with all kinds of animals, and they are glorifying their bodies with their evil act. They don't see what they are doing as barbaric. The Bible says they must be put to death. If a woman approaches an animal to have sexual relation with it, kill both the woman and the animal. They must be put to death. Their blood will be on their own heads. Verse 17. If a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, they have sexual relations. It is a disgrace. That means brothers and sisters smiling together. The Bible says, it is a disgrace. 
It is a disgrace. They must be cut off before the eyes of the people. He has dishonored his sister and will be held responsible for it. Praise the Lord. Verse 18. If a man lies with a woman during a monthly period, then all these laws are in the Bible. It explains to me why we have so many kinds of atrocities being committed in the present day world. It is because we have ignored the commandment of God when it comes to sexual sins. If a man lies with a woman during a monthly period and has sexual relations with her, he has exposed the source of her flow. And she has also uncovered it. Both of them must be cut off from their people. Verse 19. Do not have sexual relations with the sister of either your mother or your father. For they that would dishonor a close relative, both of you will be held responsible. Verse 20. If a man sleep with his aunt, he has dishonored his uncle. They will be held responsible. They will die childless. I want you to underline it. If a man sleep with his aunt, he has dishonored his uncle. They will be held responsible. They will die childless. It is according to the Bible. Verse 21, where we are going today. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impunity. He has dishonored his brother. They will be childless. Verse 22, keep all my decrees and laws and follow them so that the land where I am bringing you to live may not vomit you out. Beloved, it explains to us in this age why the land is vomiting people out. Why we are seeing all kinds of miserable and things that cannot even be imagined at all happening in our generation. 99% of those sins are rooted in sexual sin. And not until when we depart from this evil, not until when we forsake this evil, the land where we are living will vomit people out. The world will still see more dangerous things happening if we don't purge ourselves as sons and daughters of God. The Bible says your body is not your own. It is the temple of the Holy Spirit which you receive. Therefore glorify God with your body. Your body is not to be joined with an animal. Your body is not to be joined with an alloc. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you. Therefore glorify God in your body. Anybody can tell you anything. But the Bible is still the final. They can tell you stories just to encourage you to continue in your sexual sin. But the Bible will judge you and I. When it comes to sexual sin, praise the Lord. What are the consequences of sexual sin? We have seen it. Death, being cut off, being childless. Shame, disgrace. Then what are the causes of sexual sins? Number one, polygamous foundation. Causes of sexual sin. What can make a man to go into committing what the Lord says thou shalt not do? Number one, is polygamous foundation. Anyone from a polygamous foundation, they have the tendency of following that foundation. Number two, evil association. When you begin to move with people who are polygamists, who does not have regard for marriage, who does not show regard for sex, they will end up polluting you. Number three, drunkenness. There are so many cases of people being raped. When you say, oh, I got drunk and I found this guy on my head, he raped me. Next, loss of the flesh. Many of us, we are, we, are, we are grossly involved in the flesh. That we just want to satisfy the desire and the loss of the flesh. Five minutes enjoyment and everlasting pain. Next, desire for evil pleasure. Next, bewitchment and the enemy. The enemies can make a man to commit sexual sin. Next, is the loss, of, loss for money. People that are sleeping with animals to make movies is because they needed money. And the only way to do it is, oh, when they offer the big money, say, ah, nobody sees me. Animals cannot talk. Next is wrong leadership. When the people that are leading you are not feeding you well with the right food, you are bound to miss it. Next is the wrong messages. 
What kind of messages are you listening to? Are you just being fed with prosperity messages? Are you just being fed with songs and, and, and just motivational messages? Or are you being fed with true words that will make you to go back home and shed tears for yourself for your sins? Next is the wrong books that we read. Many of us, we have so many kinds of evil books that by the time you open the book, it makes you to be sexually aroused. Next is watching pornography. There is no way you watch pornography that you do not want to practice the evil art in the pornography. Next is counseling the opposite sex alone. As sons and daughters of God, as ministers of God, beloved, flee. Whenever anybody comes to you, daddy come and cancel me, mommy come and cancel me. If they are opposite sex, get the door open. Let there be someone at the door. Lest they grab you and you fall into that sin. Next, is poor scriptural understanding of the Ten Commandments. The poor scriptural understanding. Many of us who don't understand the scriptures again. We take the scriptures by face value. The word that I speak to you, the Bible says, they are spirit and they are life. And it takes those who are spirit-filled to understand what the spirit is saying. If you are a carnal-minded person, this teaching today is not for you. Because it will be hard for you to understand it. It will be hard for you to believe that all these things are happening and the consequences are real. Then what must we do, beloved, to overcome this sexual sin? Thou shalt not commit adultery. What does it mean? What must we do to overcome sexual sin? Number one, we need to genuinely repent. We need to genuinely repent from the flesh. Beat your flesh. Put your flesh under subjection. Let the flesh destroy. Number two, we need to guide our heart daily by controlling what we feed into our heart. Whenever you go to a place or places where you are seeing things that are making you to be sexually aroused, flee. Next, stop making unbelievers your friends. They will derail you. Stop making people who have no things to offer you scripturally and biblically. Stop making them your friends. Lest they make you like them. Next. Flee from every appearances of evil. Anywhere where they are doing worldly things, worldly parties, beloved, when you go there, you ended up touching the wife or the husband of another person. Under the influence of oh, we are dancing. And by the time you touch another person's wife, another person's husband, there will be, there will be chemistry. And the next thing will be, oh, Satan will start manipulating the brain. Touch her more, touch him more. May God help us. Next, we should stop staying in the same room with the opposite sex. No matter how close may be with a friend, a friend is a friend, not your wife, not your husband. Don't be in the same room with the opposite sex, lest they make you to fall. Next, flee from alcohol. To some people, it's like, oh, if I don't drink, I can't get high. The more of alcohol you take, the more distorted your reasoning faculty becomes. And by the time you find someone else as well who has been intoxicated, the next thing is you start committing sexual sin. Next, flee from those wearing seductive dresses. As a pastor, as ministers, men are moved by what they see. Women are moved by what they hear. When a man starts seeing a woman wearing lustful ways, the man is bound to start processing the woman's image in his heart. And when a woman starts hearing a man giving her good compliment, oh, sister, you look good. Sister, your body looks very sexy. The man, the woman, start processing evil in her head. Flee from every lustful sin. They are destroyers. They have destroyed so many souls. They have made so many eye flyers to become beggars. They have sent so many souls to any grave. And lastly, make the Bible your friend. Let the Bible be your daily friend. I want to add one, this one to it. Make the wife or the husband of your youth, make them your best friend. Beloved, there is nothing you are looking for in another man or another woman that you cannot find in your own man or your own husband or your own wife. A man has what it takes to be a man. And a woman has what it takes to be a woman. 
So why are you lusting after another man's wife? And why are you lusting after another man's woman? I want you to pray this morning. All of us are guilty of this sexual sin. Your own may not be the physical act. But according to Matthew chapter 5, 27 to 28, maybe your own, you have been lost in your heart every time against another person's wife or husband. Say, oh Lord, my father, search me, oh Lord, today and deliver me from sexual sin. Search me, oh Lord, today. God knows your heart. I may not know who you are, but God knows who you are. God knows what goes on in your heart. You may pretend to me, I may pretend to you. But you and I cannot pretend to God, your maker, who sat through the heart of man and knoweth what man thinking at every point in time. Say, oh Lord, my father, search through my heart and deliver me from sexual sin. In the name of the, oh Lord, my father, search through my heart, deliver me, Lord, from sexual sin. Jehovah, Lord, search through my heart, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord, from sexual sin. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, purge me, oh Lord, and purify me like gold from every form of sexual pollution. Purge me, O Lord, and purify me from every form of sexual pollution. In the name of Jesus, purge me, O Lord. Beloved, if your body is dirty, Holy Spirit of God cannot stay there. If you don't pray this prayer, if your body, soul, and spirit is dirty of sexual sin, there is no way you can stand in the holy place of God. There is no way you can pray. There is no way you can see heavenly vision. I want you to pray, O Lord, my Father, purge me, O Lord, with Holy Ghost and with fire. From the pollution of sexual sin. In the name of the O Lord, my Father, search me, O Lord, and purge me. From the pollution of sexual sin. Pollute, O oh Lord, purge me. Purge me, O oh Lord. Purge me, O oh Lord. From the pollution of sexual sin. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, create me, O oh Lord, a new heart. A heart that will love God, not the world. Create me, O oh Lord, a new heart. A heart that will love God and not the world. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, creating me a new heart. Creating my children, creating my wife, creating my family a new heart. Oh Lord, the heart that will love God and not the world. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, powers that wants me to die in sexual sin. Powers that want me to die in sexual sin. You are a liar. Die, die, die. Da, da, and a power that wants me to die in sexual sin. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Command those power to die. Any power that wants me to die in sexual sin. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, powers. Putting demonic partners to me. Beloved, somebody can be put to you or can be pushed to you. And their mission is to make you to fall. You will pray like this. Say, agent of darkness, on assignment to pull me down through sexual sin. Agent of darkness, on assignment to pull me down through sexual sin. You are a liar. Da, 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 da. Agent of darkness, on assignment to pull me down through sexual sin. You are a liar. Da. Da, da, da. In Jesus' name, they are dead. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We bless you. We exalt your holy name, O Lord, because you have given us your word again. We pray, dear Lord, let your word, O God, find a place in our heart. Let your word, O God, begin to bear fruit in us. Let your word, O God, begin to transform us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. I'd like to say very well, thank you. I'd like to say very thank you to you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for what I've been doing every day in supporting the scripture and the body of Christ. The Lord God Almighty, whom we have come here to serve, that God will make those scriptures that you are hearing to transform your lives. And through those scriptures, you and I shall become transformers in our generation in the name of Jesus. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. In this Sunday, a glorious Sunday, God will turn you to be a vessel unto honor, not a vessel unto dishonor, in the name of Jesus. We meet every day from 9 a.m. in the morning for hour of prayer. And we have our live videos on YouTube, on the Reality Christian Center channel. And we have inspirational books and prayers, messages on our website, www.thepathofrighteousness.com. For prayers and counseling, please feel free to call. The numbers are on the screen. Feel free to call. Free you receive. Freely you must give. Till me tomorrow, stay blessed and have a blessed Sunday. Remember, 
Jesus is Lord. And remember to share this message if you are blessed with it. Share it and let others too be set free from the sin of sex. God bless you. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's shout seven powerful hallelujah to God most high for this great deliverance morning. Let's shout hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. The Lord make you great. You will not fall into sin. On the last day when the roll shall be made in heaven, the devil will not stand against you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye.